Humane Societies were set up for the rescue of people in danger of drowning and even more so the prevention of drowning accidents. This is the Glasgow Humane Society Boathouse based in Glasgow Green. My name is George Parsonage and I'm one of the officers of the Glasgow Humane Society. Glasgow Humane Society is one of many societies that were set up around the time of the 1790s. They were actually set up all over the world. The difference with the Glasgow Humane Society was that Glasgow went that step further and set up a full-time officer and a full-time rescue station. We call ourselves the oldest practical life-saving society in the world. There haven't been there that many Humane Society officers over the years. Fathers and sons took the job. And my father, Ben Parsonage, arrived here. And by 1918, he was working and doing rescues on the river. So actually, this is exactly 100 years since the Parsonage family started the work on the river. I'm very, very proud of that because uh, you don't want to take Providence, but they said that since my father arrived on the river, there has been no serious accidents. Yeah, my father did it for 61 years. He was the officer and didn't go on holiday, didn't do anything. He just was here all the time. In those 61 years, the phone was never not answered. We know for a fact that my father saved close to 2,000 people out the river. When I wasn't doing things on my own, I was here to help my dad always ready to help him. And when father died that afternoon, the police phoned about an emergency on the river and you couldn't say no. So I just went and that was it. The rest's history, you know, it's just, he was a, he was a great man, eh? We look after all the people that are on the river. One of our big jobs just now is looking after all the life belts in Glasgow. We have about uh, 15 different clubs on the water and each day there can be, depending on what day it is, you can have between four or five hundred racing craft passing our wharfage. It's a lot of people to look after. You've got the canoeist, fishermen in the banks. For by that, we remove trees from bridges, we lift uh, any rubbish out the river, especially things that would attract children down to the water's edge to prevent accidents like footballs or old bicycles. Very few of the people you rescue will ever come back and say thanks. That rarely happens. As I say, you've got to do something between this A and B, and it can be very rewarding. Well, it's not been a bad life. <laughs>